I'm just sitting here editing a video this morning for all of you guys, and I hear a knock on my door. Look what's going on inside the shop. What's up, you guys? Hi, Crazy. Holy crap. I, I guess today's the day, huh? Hooey. <laughs> oh, we spent a lot of time with you, my friend. It's time to put you home. Man, that thing looks so good. Yeah. Wow. Take one last look, my friends. I just shut all the lights off at the shop and I see this green hue coming from <laughs> underneath the ambulance. I'm like, <gasps> it's alive! Man, look over here, I'm like, it's seriously glowing green? I'm like, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. I think there's a, there's a light in there <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> no, it's alive, it's alive! There's a light right, right there. But how cool is it to be able to see the words, the beast from the outside? Look at that thing. Whoa. <laughs> That's wild. Okay. We're shutting down the shop, my friends. We're shutting down the shop. Everything's unplugged. Street side parking is a little bit rough in the winter time. I'm not sure how I feel about being up on the snowbank here. Ooh, yeah, no, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Whoa. Let's see if there's a spot where someone's pulled in and out of. All right, I think we're probably okay here. <laughs> Trying to pat the snow down a little bit so my van's level. There we go. This is the first time I think I've ever seen fluffy snow stick around, <laughs> stick around here. Like you can't make a snowball in that. Look at, it's just, it's been fluff for days. <laughs> Another thing about this coating is that the icicles stick to the texture of this. That's all big, thick icicles on the side of the van. I've never had this on a vehicle before. C can imagine how much more weight my van is carrying with all this ice on. Look at it. Uh, temperature says it feels like minus 11 degrees Celsius outside. That is cold, my friends. <sighs> Minus 11, are you serious? <laughs> Says feels like minus 16. We normally don't get this kind of weather out here. Burr. Thankfully, I left my heater on all night last night and it is super, super, super warm. Good morning, everybody. I'm not sure what the temperature is like in here, but it's not bad. For being minus 11 outside, it's actually pretty warm in here. This heater's been running all night though. My roof vent is open, so it's letting lots of heat out. It's probably an easy, I don't know, 15 degrees in here at least. Sweet. Oh, warm 
warm the van up a little bit this morning. Every Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Every Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. Come here, I'm dropping things. <sighs> Licorice for me. Balls for crows. <laughs> I got him some food there too. So I had to buy bigger cast irons than what i had already purchased um let me go to the shop and show you guys so give me a sec you to confess to everybody that you're addicted to balls tell them say my name is Cruz and I'm addicted to balls confess say you're addicted to balls are you ready are you ready which one's gonna be the winner he's confused like, um, so many balls that's the blue one Yay! What you got, buddy? Is that a brand new ball? Now there's probably like 10 balls inside of this shop. Get his day up. Hey, are you, are you getting a new ball? Did you get a new ball? <laughs> yeah, look how bright that engine is. Awesome. So when I was at the Overland North Gathering, I went to a booth called J.A. Shanko. Uh, they're in Ontario, Canada, and they make this tool for cooking on the campfire with cast iron. Oh, I, I just thought it was totally awesome. So we have one sent to us here, uh, made right here in Canada, which is super awesome. Comes with a grill top, a very pokey stick, a bunch of things and some more things, and a great big, really cool bag with a patch on it to carry it in. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Sweet. Okay. But that's why I needed to buy 12 inch cast iron. The Dutch oven that I have is 10 inch, which means it doesn't fit in that ring, which is okay. Um, because I plan on doing more cooking because I have a lady in my life right now. So, uh, we're going to need to cook more than just for myself. So a bigger cast iron, I'm, uh, I'm okay with that one. So yeah, we picked up this one. It's got a, <laughs> it says Canada on it. Yeah, how cool is that? Made by an American company. That was very nice of you. This has a base. You can put this base down and then build a fire on top of it right here. Woo. Okay, so I'm gonna guess this goes into here. Boom. Oh, that's simple. Without even reading the manual. I'm guessing that goes in there and this screws in there. Just like that. Now you build your fire on top of it right here or put this off to the side of the fire, or whatever. Does this spike go that way or that? I'm not even sure. I should have read the instructions. So that goes on top of there. Boom, just like that. Oh, this is, and it's super stable. 
Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So you put the fire here and then you can adjust the height of this while the fire is going to adjust the temperature. You need to get it hotter, you put it lower, you need to get it cooler, you bring it a little bit higher. When you're done, you can spin this baby out of the way and then serve whoever is out there with you. So it fits a 12 inch pan. Oh, yep, like that, right in the top. Look at that, boom. I definitely got smarter buying uh, buying the Dutch oven this time than what I did last time. Last time mine had a rounded lid. You didn't have the ability to put coals on the top of it. You could flip them upside down on the other one, but it brought this. We'll leave all that blah, blah, blah stuff for the day that we actually go out here and actually start doing some cooking on this thing. J.A. Shanko. Uh, thanks guys for sending me out this. This is really cool and I'm pretty excited to put this to some use. Can you believe that? <laughs> While we're living back there, that's the big green monster that's going to be hauling us around. Oh my gosh, super proud of that thing. And really, really thankful that I got Lauren here as a part of our team to, you know, to make sure that the heart behind this whole beast is perfect. We're done here at the shop for Christmas, buddy. That's it. We're done. You want to take one of your many hundred balls with us ball 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 <laughs> ball how many balls do you need bro <laughs> tell you what let's take the glow in the dark one with us what do you say this one glows in the dark i think and a bouncy too you want to take this one are you ready to go Oh, it's starting to snow again. Thank you.